We got Amanda now. I assume she's busy from the Bill Walsh Diversity Coaching Program for the Seattle Seahawks. She's outside. Amanda, you little trickster. Congratulations on the Seahawks appointment. Man, I don't know where to go with it. How's it going? Oh, it's so amazing. As soon as I stepped inside the building, Coach Carroll welcomed me in. Uh, we actually did a basketball one of my running backs, Travis Homer. So I was instantly welcomed in, feeling the love. The culture here is so great. Everyone wants you to be yourself. And as if, if you know me, and I know you guys do, I'm all about just being myself, being loud and proud about what I do and my passion. I'm loving it. Oh, good. Well, oh, man, if anybody deserves it, it's you, Amanda. And I won't keep you long because, like I said, I know you're busy. I've heard that about the Seahawks vibe. You got to say hey to my guy, KJ, down there, who you know. Hey, there you go. Oh, Seattle's so beautiful, the Emerald City. But listen, I will. above uh, all else, uh, above all else, tell the folks how you landed this. I will for sure. So for me, like I've applied for tons of NFL opportunities in the past. Um, and I just wasn't getting through. So I took it upon myself to actually go to the NFL combine this year. I got a media pass because I was working with sports illustrated. I, I reached out to them. I said, can I come on behalf of you? And I used that to meet people and coaches and, and GMs and get in front of them. And that's networking. It's not all about um, who you know, it's who knows you. There, I got approached by the Seahawks. They took my uh, resume. I got through some interviews with them and got the call to come down to the facility and made it happen and got the Bill Walsh Diversity in Coaching Fellowship. Uh, again, I can't wait to see you again and uh, tell me more all about it. But what is filling your days right now? What do they got you doing here? In, uh, I assume it's in mini camp. Yeah, uh, actually, we just finished our OTAs and our mini camp. So we had a little passing camp this week just to finish everything up. The athletes are taking off for a bit. Then we're getting into training camp come mid-July. So I'm really excited for that. So my days are filled with, I, I'm the assistant running backs coach working with Chad Morton, who is the running backs coach here. So I get to do everything from plan indie sessions, which is just the individual sessions with the running back. I get to run that session. I'm even hanging out in the weight room here, learning what they do for their weight room activities so I can learn even more. I'm doing tagging on DV Sports, so cutting down film, doing all the behind the scenes work that a lot of people do. I was working with your friend KJ there. He's showing me the ropes, how to draw more pictures on Vizio, be very helpful so I can be successful in this industry. And that's definitely what I'm about. And I got to do some interviews, some I got to do my first presser here for at the NFL press conference. I felt so good. It was, it was great to be on this. some recognition. I put in the hard work and it's, it's all about putting in the hard work, but having a little fun along the way. That's what it's all about. And I saw the photo of you at the podium. I'm so proud of you. If anybody deserves it, it's you NFL. Now CFL, you sports. And of course with the weightlifting, you can teach those guys a thing or two. Now, listen, I'm going to let you go. Tell KJ I said what's up, and uh, we'll see you when you get home. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks, guys. The great Seahawks assistant running backs coach, Amanda Ruler. How about that? What a story. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see... Hit subscribe, and if you like the program, check around for other segments of The Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.